Lontong Kap Go Me is a Peranakan Chinese Indonesian take on traditional Indonesian dishes, more precisely Javanese cuisine. It is lontong rice cake served with richly flavored dishes which includes opor ayam chicken in coconut milk, sayur lode vegetable soup, hot and spicy liver, hard-boiled pindang egg, koya powder made of soy and dried shrimp or beef floss, pickles, chili paste and prawn cracker. Lontong Kap Go Me usually consumed by Chinese Indonesian community during Kap Go Me celebration. Components Lontong Kap Go Me is actually not a single dish but more of a set of meal with several side dishes, served in similar fashion to Nasi Champur or Nasi Bali. It is a combination of several Javanese favorite dishes each often prepared and cooked separately, and combined in a single plate prior of serving. The rich combination of flavorful dishes demonstrates the festive nature of the dish, which is traditionally consumed during Kap Go Me in Java. The components of Lontong Kap Go Me are Lontong, elongated rice cake cooked in banana leaf Opor ayam, chicken stew in coconut milk and spices Sayur lode, vegetables in coconut milk soup, sometimes replaced by sayur labu siam chayote in coconut milk soup. Sambal goreng ati, beef liver fried in sambal chili paste. Teller pindang, hard boiled marble egg. Koya powder, a mixture of ground fried soybeans and dried shrimp powder, sometimes replaced or added with aban beef floss. Akar, pickles, usually consists of cucumber, carrot, shallot and bird's eye chili. Sambal, spiced chili paste with tarasi shrimp paste Karupuk, prawn cracker, sometimes replaced by emping cracker <inaudible> Origin Chinese cuisine influences on Indonesian cuisine is evident in Indonesian take on Chinese dishes, such as mie goreng, lumpia, bakso and somai. However the culinary influences also took another way around. Vice versa, Peranakan Chinese Indonesian cuisine has also been influenced by native Indonesian cuisine. It is believed that lontong kap go me is a Peranakan Chinese Indonesian take on traditional Indonesian dishes. Early Chinese immigrants in Indonesia settled in northern coastal cities of Java, such as Semarang, Pakalongan, Lhasam, Tuban and Surabaya, as early as Majapahit period. During that time only male Chinese settled in Java and they intermarried with local Javanese women and create a Javanese-Chinese Peranakan culture. These early Chinese immigrants has become accustomed to the cooking of their Javanese wives. To celebrate Chinese New Year, during Kap Go Me, Peranakan of Java replaced the traditional yuan shao rice ball with local lontong accompanied with array of Javanese dishes such as opur ayam and sambal goreng ati spicy beef liver. It is believed that the dish reflect the assimilation among Chinese immigrants and local Javanese community. It is believed that lontong cap go me conceived good fortune symbols. The thick rice cake is considered richer compared to thin watery bubur rice kanji, which is often associated as food of pores. The elongated form of lontong also symbolize longevity. While eggs symbolize good fortune and yellowish turmeric coconut milk broth represents gold and fortune, lontong kap go me was strictly a Peranakan Javanese phenomena. Peranakans in Malay Peninsula, Sumatra, and Borneo are not familiar with this dish. It is commonly associated with Imlek traditions of Chinese Indonesians in Javan cities, especially Semarang. Since Batawi people native Jakartans was also heavily influenced by Chinese Indonesian Peranakan culture, lontong kap go me is also considered as one of Batawi cuisine. See also Katupat Sayur Tumpung Peranakan cuisine